Howdy who and welcome to Nevis Gaming today. We are starting the episode off in our forge that we created last episode, if you remember rightly. Ooh, you can see the iron all pumping away there. But we are gonna be looking at armor today because I am um, look at me. I've been walking around with no armor on. I've got all my tools, but I've got no armor. So today I've decided to make these all these armor here, which you can see before me. I've already created the emerald core, everything like that. I just now need to add the plate cast. Now, what plate cast I'm going for? Well, if we check this book here, oh no, that's a chest. If we check this book here, we can see that there are lots and lots of trims and plates that we can add. We've already made the core there, so durability and defense out of all the emeralds from trading with the villagers. Uh, that if we have a look, you can each one has a different, uh, different what's the word? Different ability. But the ones I've decided to go for are Blessed, Weakens the Undead on Contact, and it gives you a bit of, um, what's it called, a bit of uh, durability there. So if you look at the trim, that's durability 10. And then I've also decided to go for Cobalt, which is lightweight. And that, ooh, in fact, that's 14. In fact, I might change my mind. I might do the trim, the durability there. The plates, durability 8, durability 8, durability 8, remember that? Ooh, ooh, yeah, you know what, we'll do that because it gives you toughness too. Toughness too. So I'm going to set up everything I need there by going into my, oh, where are we, my forge. So I need to put these in here and actually cast it. So we're going to utilize the end one here because we've got nothing in there at this minute in time. So if we put in, I'm not sure how many I need to put in. So if we put in that many for now, do as many trims as we can, wait. Wait a minute, yeah, so the trims, wait a minute, wait a minute, just check, just check, confirm. Just checking, just checking whether I am right to do the trim gave it the better durability, yeah, 14. The trim gave it the better durability, so I'm going to set up my armor with the trims and then we're going to look at modifying them. So the trims didn't actually take that much to, you know, change, uh, so to create. So if we do that, I can now add one of those and one of those. And look, we have our helmet. Look at that beast there. Fantastic. So I'm going to carry on for the rest of these and then we'll move on to the modifiers. Look at how wonderful I look with all my armor on. Wow. In fact, let's, I want to see what I look like with the different types of tools that I am currently carrying. Because if I don't look awesome with the type of tool that I've got, then why would I change it? I actually look like a mechanical samurai. Let's move on. The pickaxe. Mm, it's all right. The rapier. No, I think we need a bigger sword than that. So I might have to make one in the future. The axe is all right. And obviously the slime spade. But let's look at the modifiers, shall we? After I've sorted, put all my... That's not meant to go in there, is it? That's where you're meant to go. Look at all that. Look at all these. Currently, I think I left one on here. I better remove that just in case. Because the last thing we want is accidentally making something. Anyway, let's look at the modifiers that we can actually utilize in this. If we click modifiers, you can see there is a whole list of... But which ones are we going to choose? Well, the first one is going to be speedy because we want that movement of speed. Now, I'm not sure how many or how many things we can actually add for this, but I'm definitely going to go for this one. We do have resistant, but again, there's different type of resistance. So we've agreed that we're doing speedy. We've got blast resistant. We've got projectile resistant. We've got diamond increases of toughness and you look fabulous in the, as well. We've got fire resistant, which I'll probably utilize for the nether. Parasitic, Mending Moss would be good, but I've not come across any of that yet, so we'll have to look into making that. Sticky, Shulk Away, all these different things. We've even got the Gauntlets of Power. So if we look at the Gauntlets of Power, they're not that hard to make. It's just a bit of iron and some obsidian. So we've got Dexterous, Increase Attack Speed, can only apply to chest plates. So immediately we've got to think of which one we're going to use. So attaching this Gauntlet... Of far each should give you magical powers specifically you'll find out that you can reach things further from further away now that's not what I want I want something like touch the gun increases power so that we want that one we want powerful because that's gonna be the main one and dexterous 
tends to give general attack speed. So we're not looking at speed, we're looking at this one. So we're gonna we're definitely gonna go Gauntlet of Power. So that's our chest plate sorted. And we'll throw a bit of uh, resistance on there as well. If we carry on, we see got our boots here. A high stride, increased step height can only be applied to boots. So we're going to utilize that one as well, which requires two pistons, which is easy to get. So we'll add that to that that as well. Glowing, light sources for when we're in caving. We won't use that. Polished, not really into that. And then you've got embossment as per. But you've also got these. But we'll look at them once we've upgraded our our uh, our armor even further so we've got pistons uh, we've got jump and we want the gauntlet of power so i'm going to create them add them to my armor and then we should see how far we get from there right then let's look at how we are going to upgrade our armor so far so let's start with the boot shall we so we'll stick the boots in there and we want some jump so i presume we just put them in there no nope. in there there we go look at that Gosh, we can jump super high, and you know what? I'm gonna add some reinforcement onto them. Where do I add that? Boom! Can I add anything else onto these? Maybe a bit of redstone for speed? Yes! How much speed can we go up to? 4.5% speed. I'll take that. Oh, we can increase the speed even more. Can we? No, we can't. That is a shame. But we've got reinforcement on that as well. I wonder if we can add something else to that. Hmm. Anyway, we'll leave that there. Next, we will look at our chest plate. So we'll stick that in there. Our chest plate, we again, we're going for resistance. Wow, look how lovely that looks. We want our gauntlet there. There we go. Look at that. We've increased our attack damage by 15%. Do we go speed or do I add another reinforcement? Oh, wow. Wow, reinforced. Let's go for it. Let's do that. Right, I'm going to carry on doing all the rest of my armor. And then we shall see what we look like at the end product. Well, call me the Samurai Warrior because look at how good I look. I've even changed my hat now to the hood hat. It makes me look more look like robotical, I think. And I really do love the intense purple that it's giving off. But let's look at the stats. If we look at the boots there. We've got speedy, reinforced, high stride, which means high stride, I can do this. You go, remember when you can't jump over a wall? Well, I can. And that can go up, if I had more and more slots, that could go up even higher. So who knows what possibilities we can create in the future with some boots. But that's not all, all we're looking at here today. We've got our leggings, which we've gone speedy, reinforced, so it lasts longer, and resistant 5. That goes up to past, I checked, and it goes went to level 6 as well. So, But I haven't, I saved the uh, plates for, obviously, the other ones. I've got powerful air to give me a bit of a uh, better damage strike. And then on my helmet, I've gone for speedy resistance. Ooh, in fact, our helmet has one more, which I'll probably save for something like Aqua Infinity when we come across uh, something like that. But that's not all we can add to our armor. If we look here, you can see we've got spaces for all sorts. Uh, I'm guessing that's a jetpack and things like that. No idea what this is. Can you wear double armor? Who knows? The possibilities are... Space suit. That's got to be a space suit, surely. Yeah, has to be. Has to be a spacesuit, but that's not what I'm interested in. No, no, no. I'm interested in the accessories tab. Because look, you've got Google's, uh, Google's Google Zoom uh, for zooming in, Google's Night Vision, Google Soul Sight, and Traveler's Knapsack. Now, this Traveler's Knapsack is what I'm really ooh slow fall there. That'd be a good one to have. But let's have a look if we go excel that and actually see how to make some of these. So if we type in travelers, there you go, you got a list of items up top there. So we need feathers, an ender pearl, traveler's cloak. Wait, how do you make a traveler's cloak? And that's literally just out of leather and wool. You can add that to it. Uh, what else have we got? We've got night vision here, which is a, just a golden carrot, night vision potion, uh, and some flint and steel. Well, I've no idea why there's flint and steel. That's how you make the normal goggles. No, the zoom goggles, sorry. But I'm more interested in this here, the knapsack. Why? Because all I need is two rabbit hides, a note, uh, well, a chest, and some string, and some leather. Now, I'm sure I've got all these items, so uh, let's make the thing. Well, I've made it. The Traveler's Knapsack. Fantastic. We'll add that to our thing, uh, to our armor, but let's just take a look at how speedy I am. Ready? Look at how quick I run now. I am faster than probably some of the donkeys, the llamas, things like that. I can zoom about now thanks to the intense speed increase that we've had. I can climb up everything without having to jump up 
So if I just walk up it now, fantastic. Let's see if we can't equip this. Traveler's knapsack. No, we can't. Why can't we equip it? Does it get added to here? Nope. Is it part of your back? No. Chest plate accessory. Oh, so we add it to the chest plate. Unfortunately, I can't add it because I need an extra slot. Oh, wait, can I? Can I add it? Is it allowing me? Error, no, error, 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 error. I need to add more slots. How can I get more slots? Hmm, let's check the guidebook. Let's see if we can't add any more slots. Modifiers, embossment. Traits are equal. Yeah, that's fine. We've got all that. Um, I don't think I can add any more slots, and that is a shame. It'd be handy to have one more slot just so we could get those extra, extra items, but we can just use for now the... Oh, God, where's my... Where's my chest plate? Get that back on. There we go, that's better. But for now, we can just utilise... Uh, what were we going to utilise? Oh, yeah, the backpacks. I'm just going to utilise these big backpacks to store all my items, carry them in, because they're just like shulker boxes, which comes in handy. Right then, so let's have to take a quick look. We've got our tools... We've got, well, I suppose we need a bow and arrow and weaponry now. I suppose we better start looking into that. But I want to make a certain type of bow and arrow. So let's check the book again. If we click off that, select. Where are we? Where are we? Materials and you. I have a cheeky little read of this. Bow materials. So we need all this stuff. Fletching, raven feathers, like all these feathers. We've got different types of feathers here. Slime leaves, leaves, normal leaves, nicker, invar, fletching, stuff like that. What are these? These are bolts. There's plenty of stuff we can do for a bow and arrow. Oh, wow. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. So I'm going to start looking into this and try and make a bow so we can actually go hunting in the nether. So, created a bow. And, uh, well, let's take a look at the bow because I'm not too sure about this. Uh, obviously we've got our rope here for attack, but I've decided to make this bow here, which is an emerald terra firma bow with diamond, all that good. But I also made these arrows. Now, look, there's the flame string that we got from the nether. But I've also made these arrows. Now, I'm very confused at what these arrows actually do, whether I'll lose one, look. And you come up with the aiming box when you're in it. But we're going to go shoot an animal. And uh, find out what we actually, uh... well, let's find out what we can actually um, do with this. And whether we lose the arrow or whether we've got to carry stacks of them. I don't actually know. So uh, if we go to waypoint and then mine, is there anything around here? No. Maybe I should wait till dark. Uh, where would that? There should be something that spawns in the mine. I don't think I've lit everywhere up. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Plus, I want to do some more mining down here after this anyway to get more ores. Uh, ah, yes, it would appear that I've lit everywhere up and nothing is going to spawn. Fantastic. Uh, let's hop. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out, the, get out the lava. Get out the lava. Oh, that is all I need right now. Stop dropping roll. Stop dropping roll. Stop dropping roll. Oh, why is there no water? Yeah, I'm on fire. Does it... Oh, what the hell is all this? That's very strange. Anyway, thankfully I've got resistance on my armor, so that didn't hit as much as I thought it would. But anyway, we are good. There looks like a dark area up there where something could spawn. Let's go and take a cheeky little look, actually. If we go around here, we should be able to nail some mobs that spawn in this dungeon-like area. Um, Hopefully we will be, anyway. Let's go around, all the way around. Keep going around. Anything? No, nothing. There's got to be some mob around here that I can shoot with this arrow. Right, let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six on us right now. He's got diamond armor on. Okay. I was just doing a test, guys. I was just doing a test. You can stay in there. Okay, I think we shot more than six. There we go, there we go. Ah, there we go, so we actually hold a lot more than I thought. Oh, we dropped the diamond shovel, I'll take that. So that 
let's transport back to the let's transport back to the house before we uh cause any more damage to farmhouse teleport to. Woo! So uh yeah, so even though this is breakable, it actually does a hell of a lot of damage. Now I don't mind using all the reeds up for that. I can make some farms in the future. You know, simple redstone farms and all that jazz. You know, the basics, but we have officially an arrow and a renewable energy source well a new re renewable force there so i'll take that i'm gonna add a few more diamonds to make it sh extra strong um what's next we've got a sword we've got that we need to sort our our food source surely or do we go into automation hmm choices choices possibilities right but i'm gonna end the episode there folks i've been nervous because next episode we will look at getting food i've been nervous gaming You've been amazing. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe because I am loving this mod currently. Toodaloo. And I'll see all you wonderful people in a few. Goodbye.